right, for our next recipe, this is recipe number four of eight, we're gonna do peas. Now, most of us uh, grew up eating black-eyed peas, pink-eyed, crowder peas, some peas of some sort, uh, and we, we did as well. My husband, Ricky, grows uh, has a garden and we grow the kind of pink-eyed ones. But um, today, I went and just got some at the grocery store. These are just, says purple hull peas and we're not gonna do anything fancy with them. I'm just gonna show you how I cook them. Now, back in the day, I, I used to cook them in a pressure cooker, a regular pressure cooker. And the reason I did that is that when I put peas up fresh, I just blanched them for three minutes and then I shock them, put them into cold ice water and put them in the freezer. And that's what, you know, that's what the uh, experts say for us to do. That's a good thing. But on the other hand, you have to cook them a long time before they're soft enough to eat. So that's why I always cooked them in a pressure cooker. Well, uh, in recent years, people have developed electric pressure cookers. This is an instant pot. And uh, when they came out, I got one of those. I couldn't wait to get one. This, because uh, you don't have to worry about watching them and then potentially exploding. You can set a timer on these and then uh, they, will, uh, they will cut off when the, when the time expires. The Instant Pot is only one brand. There are several other brands. And uh, if you have one and you don't know what to do with it, here's a good thing you can do with it. So this is very simple. Uh, like I say, usually I just take a bag out of, the, uh, out of the freezer, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna use half of this bag and I'm gonna dump it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll just pull this out, Virginia. Virginia has an Instant Pot, so she's going to be able to help me work this. So I just put about half of that in there. I'm not going to add much water to this because none will escape. Very little will escape in a pressure cooker. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. Virginia gave me just about the right amount. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this, but I, I flavor mine with bacon grease. Now, when I do make bacon, and I pour the grease in, in a little container and put it in the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna take this a little bit and I'm just gonna put it in there. Now, if you don't wanna do that and it's not, and you don't, or don't like the bacon flavor, you can just take a little oil and put it in there. So Virginia, I'll let you put that in the, um, in the Instant Pot. Now, when you put the lid on the Instant Pot, go ahead and put it to seal. On the top of the, uh, on the top of the pot, there's seal. Uh, section and then there's a, um, uh, a vent section. So Virginia's going to put it on to seal, if you would make sure that, Virginia. Then we're going to set it for 12 minutes. Okay, so she'll punch it. It's already set to 12, so that's it. It's on. Now we'll watch it as we go to the next things. So whenever that goes off, once the 12 bit, when it's, once it comes up to power, then it'll start counting down the 12 minutes. And then once the 12 minutes are over, It'll kick off and it'll slowly release the pressure. Now we can actually wait till it completely releases uh, by itself or we can manually release the pressure. Either one, both will work. Then we'll season it with salt and pepper. So that is our black eyed peas.